Hey, out everyone. Mr. Catlin here with your cooldown help for lesson number 17. So let's jump right into it. May is given these two systems of linear equations to solve. She looks them over really good. She doesn't graph them on the Desmos calculator. She works it up uh, properly using algebra, and she says she's got it. One of them has no solution, and one of them is infinitely many. She's right. Our job is to figure out which one is which. All right, which one's the no, which one's the infinitely many. All right, so a couple of hints here. Whenever there's no solution, okay, when there's no solution, you're going to work it out. Both of the variables are going to disappear, and you're going to end up with a statement that's not true, okay, or not equal. You're going to end up with, you know, 4 equals 0 or something like that, okay? If it has infinitely many solutions, you're going to work the thing out, you're going to eliminate some stuff, and then you're going to get something that is true. Maybe you'll end up with 0 equals 0, or 5 equals 5, or something like that, okay? So let's work one of them out, and then process of elimination will lead us to the other. I like the one on the left because everything's positive and everything is lined up perfectly, so I'm going to roll with that one. If I take the first one here and I multiply everything in the top by 4, that will give me 20 x's and 4 y's, which is exactly what I want to happen for things to eliminate. So it would set up this. It would give me 20 x plus 4 y equals 4 times 13, which is uh, 52. All right, and then underneath of it, we would have 20 x, we would have 4 y, and we would have 64. And when we subtract and eliminate the x's and the y's, we would get, by subtraction here, 52 minus 64, 8, and 4 make 12. So that would be negative 12. We would get a statement that says 0 equals negative 12. By just working out that first system, I'm going to notice that this is not a true statement. So system 1, so system 1 has no solution. And if May is correct, like it says she is, then I'm going to say that system 2 is infinitely many. System 2 has infinitely many. Now, I'm just going to quickly do this one mentally. If I had to multiply this by 4, I got 20x, I would have got 4y, and when I got 52. When this became a 4y, if I subtract it from both sides, it would be negative 4y on the other. That's why this one would subtract equals 0 over 0, because every term would have a match that would just make 0 when you subtracted them. So that one is going to have infinitely many. It would be the same line on the graph. These would be parallel to each other, but not on top of each other which is what we talked about today. That's the main thing you need to get out of today was these opportunities to have no solution, infinitely many, and then, of course, they can crisscross and have an intersection and have one true solution like we've seen in the past. Uh, that's your help for today. I hope you guys are doing well with this. Uh, this Friday we will have a quiz, so be getting ready.